All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, so we are back out in front of the mystery machine. We just beat the green ghost, got ourselves in a nifty umbrella. Um, so now our next objective is to uh, track down Don Knotts, and uh, well, maybe he's not there anymore. But um, so he, uh, we got the umbrella, so now we can go to the um, whatever it's called, <laughs> the pirate ships. Yes, I was like, um, it's the one thing that the they have sails and then like pirate things. This is it. Sup, Don Knotts? How you doing, dude? Um, but yeah, so we are here now. We can collect all these goodies, but most of all, we can make our way over to here. Um, oh, okay, that just takes us back. I was like, what does that do? Um, so this is actually my least favorite section of the whole entire game, um, for several reasons. The number one reason being that, um, a lot of it's very poorly designed. Um, I mean, for the most part, it's pretty solid, but a lot of it is very poorly designed, specifically one section, um, which when we get there, I, I don't know how far out it is, um, but I know there's at least one section I can think of off the top of my head that's thoroughly poorly designed. Um, and I actually had to, I remember when I played this last year, I actually had to look it up online how to get around it because the design is so poor <laughs> um, it's really the only section of the game that has that so it's really weird actually but it's so fun though it's just like it's a it's a cool idea but it's just like the, the way the aesthetic is with the pirate ships and then the way that like they design it's, it's kind of hard to explain but we'll see oh um, here we go Okay, so we have some platforms that are too shallow that will get covered up by the water, and we cannot touch the water at all. Apparently, Scooby-Doo is very afraid of water. Oh, see, like this right here? Yep, see? We just barely nicked that water, and boom, straight up dead. I mean, probably not dead dead, but Scooby-Doo is not feeling too hot because we touched the water. Um, so you just got to be really cautious. It's all right, now we can go and get that one Scooby snack that we missed. Um... Oh, excuse me, Mr. Tar Monster, coming through, sir. Pardon me. Oh, what? Your tar throwing did not make any sense. <laughs> it just was like all of a sudden, like took like a hard left angle. Really weird. Alrighty. Oh wait, let's retreat, and then we can time it better. There we go. That's a that's a better idea. I don't feel like that first plan was a very good plan. There we go. Huh. Okay, we'll go back and we'll get that buried treasure in like two seconds, Scooby-Doo. Don't you worry. Okay. It's going to be, oh, it's a nifty little sandwich. I'll take it. I like sandwiches. Chink. Oh, boy. Yeah. See, like that, that's... You gotta. You have like a lot of really weirdly timed jumps and things like that. I mean, we're probably going to spend a lot of this episode dying and retrying specific jumps because they're just so weird. And, um, this is not the section, the particular section where I was like, oh, the design in this section is really weird, and it, it, uh, makes it near impossible to beat. We are not to that part yet, but I will let you know when we do get to that part, so that you can be aesthetically prepared for it. Um, I, I mean, it's a cool idea. I think the idea is there. It's just, like, the way that the aesthetic worked out and things like that, but, like... Yeah, where am I supposed to go from there? Oh no, is right, Scooby Doo. Like, it clearly leads me over that way, but like, where do I go? Cause I can't go anywhere else with over here in the. Well, maybe we can. Oops. All right, let's watch out for that crab. He's gotten us a couple other times, but maybe we gotta go this way. Ah, okay. So I was close. I had the right idea. Okay. But yet again, still not the part I was talking about. But we'll get there. Eventually, maybe. Rack on the deck part two. Wreck it up. On the deck. Ooh, wow. Right off the bat. Oh, this is actually the part I was just talking about. Okay, so. Um, so we have to strategically jump across these platforms. So. It's like the weirdest thing ever is so we have to jump across the sails um or whatever these are they look like sails 
We have to jump across them back and forth, so, um, I forgot it was this early on in this section. I thought it was a little bit later, but. So, you have to jump across these platforms and hit these buttons at the end of each section, which lets you obtain to the next section. But the timing of the jumps is really weird, and also just kind of the layout of the, um, I don't know, you'll see. I'm sure this will take me a couple tries. Unless I get it on my first try, then I'm going to look really stupid and be like, wow, the design of this section is so stupid. Okay, so like this jump specifically. So like you have to like... There you go. Okay, we got it. Got it. I'm really kind of hoping I get this in the first try, and then I'm going to look really stupid because then you guys are going to be like, he was like really complaining about this whole section this whole time, and then he gets it on the first try. Um, <laughs> okay, but this is... It's on the third section where the poor design comes in, and you'll see it. I mean, it's very poorly designed. <laughs> but now I've been complaining about it for the last six minutes. I'm gonna get it perfect on the first try. Just I know it. It's that's that's what's gonna happen. Okay, boing. Wahoo! Wahoo! Okay. Okay, it's this part right here. So, there, now we have to redo that whole thing. Um, <laughs> so, there was that, um, the mast or whatever, that angles down in front of the, um, sail. Um, gosh, it's like, I'm trying to think of like all like the correct termage for everything. Um, I mean, at least we keep all our Scooby-Doo snacks, so I don't have to worry about Scooby-Doo snacks. I can just worry about making the jumps. But, um, it's just like, so there's like that cross mast, like above me, that one. And again, I'm not a sailor, so I don't know like the exact termage. Um, so it's that one up in the top left corner. So the mast lays down right in front of the trampoline, so you have to go around the mast and get on the trampoline. It's the weirdest thing ever. And, and like, the guy in the... I, like I said, I had to, like, watch a video to see, like, how it was done. And the guy in the video, um, he had to, like, go around it, like I, like I said. And so it's, like, the weirdest thing ever, and, like, you barely make it. It was, like, either they just didn't quality test this section... Or, like, they're like, okay, this game's been pretty easy so far, so... Okay. Okay, like, you can also see there's, like, a little bit of verticality to this jump right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, see, like, now I'm on that mast. It's so weird. It's just, like, such an odd design. It's like, let's put a mast right in the way. Um, so we only went on this way because, um, Scooby Snacks. But, we really need to get over to this trampoline to get over to here. Okay, that was nearly not as bad as I've had in the past. I remember playing the last year, and it took me forever to beat that part. And then it's just, like, the hardest part is it makes you redo the whole thing if you mess up. So, like, you can't just, like hurry and start back over or like it you can't just hurry and skip to that third section where you mess up or whatever like you have to start the whole thing over it's so weird it's like such an odd design i don't quite understand it um but i didn't design the game if i did i don't know if i'd make very many changes because this game's pretty rad excuse me sir thank you come again goodbye okay there's a little pirate ships down there to I'm um, help us out if we need it. <laughs> this umbrella is very practically impractical. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we missed one. That's okay. I'm not going 100% Scooby Snack Run. Um, if I was, I'd be, I'd be failing pretty hard at the moment. <laughs> um, we have missed Scooby Snacks a plenty. Um, let's see. I can never remember how to get this one. It's in like such a weird spot. Oops, sorry, sir. I was trying to um see what. Oh, yes, that's right. You need the, um, get bubblegum later on, and bubblegum lets you, uh, jump up onto, and you, like, freeze monsters in a bubble, and then you can jump up on them, something like that, but. Alrighty, well, we will deal with this situation next time on A Game for Your Thoughts, so, uh, thanks for watching.